Okay, here we are. Here's my review of the steeplechase suite at Disney's Boardwalk Inn. It is room 4241. This was a surprise upgrade. Once we enter the suite, see nice mirrors. There's a bathroom immediately off the right with the sink and commode. love the ceiling but one thing I forgot is where is that this room has a doorbell sorry as we walk in it's the main sitting area couches and chairs ours are at work with lighting on either side. It's the table with our stuff. Also, I love this ceiling here. It's almost Victorian. So to the left is like the den, the sitting area. It's Bose surround speakers, several bookshelves. But they have a thing for clocks because there are three clocks in this room. As you can see. TV, lamps, mirrors, then we're into the master bedroom. This is a master bed. Television here. We'll do the balconies in a little bit. A little sitting chair. <clears throat> Storage for stuff there with charging ports, as you would expect. And moving into the main bath, this is the walk-in closet. Put your suitcases and things. There's a safe in here, the extra blankets, things that you would expect. Also a little chair for sitting. This is the master bath area. Two vanities, a sitting area, a mirror to do your makeup. This is just a table, the toilet, and then is the shower which is very nice, and then a freestanding tub with the largest bottles of shampoo and conditioner and body wash that I have seen at any of the Disney resorts. Very nicely themed painting. Another mirror. There are bath salts. It's a Jewish tank bubble bath. Um, this bathroom also has a hamper. So we'll walk on out of here. Take a stroll back. Um, I also neglect to mention that these two chairs here also pull out into single beds, which is nice. Um, the flowers are real. Every flower in this room is real, real plants. It's, it's simply incredible. So we'll move on down to the other half. Uh, this is the dining room area. Nice chandelier. I like the painting. I'm not quite sure where that is. Um, service set. We'll walk into what we affectionately call the bar. So there's a wine chiller, a refrigerator to keep things cool, a microwave, an espresso machine, a sink, trash can. It's also a door out into the hallway should you need to do that. And then we're into the other bedroom, which is almost like a guest bedroom for the suite. So a queen size bed, a chair, television, lamps. There's also a closet here. It's more like your standard closet that you'd get at anything at Boardwalk with a safe. And, so, and of course, because it's club level, there are a couple extra little things. So this is the bathroom for what I call the guest area. So a vanity, a sink, a toilet, a shower, the curtain, and then a wheelchair accessible shower, and also a hamper for your towels. Also another door to access the hallway. Thermostat that is just for this room. 
Okay, so we'll go out on the balcony in a second. So this is a separate balcony just for this room, although it's part of this. So the balcony has three doors to access it. It's kind of crazy just how big it is. So on the other side of this wall is that guest bedroom balcony. This is the balcony for the presidential suite. It's, it's huge. I, um, I marvel at it every time. I don't think I have, I don't think I could get enough friends down here to fill up this balcony. Uh, on short notice at least. And then your view is right out here across the lake at the Yacht and Beach Club. Um, last night I watched the fireworks for the final illumination show. Um, I could see everything that come up above the buildings. It's really a great place to watch them. Um, much better than the club lounge here at Boardwalk because of the tree growth back there in the, behind the resort. So that is it for this. Um, if by chance you just get lucky enough to get this room, I'm sure you'll enjoy it as much as we did. All right, take care.